Hey, do you mind taking like a bunch of photos in different poses? Uh, you know, I'd really actually rather just get this over with. Come on, man, I need these. Can't you just take a damn selfie? No, that's too thirsty, all right? I need these to be medium thirsty. Okay. Make sure you get my ass in the photo. You know what's there? Then switch it around. Oh. Get, get that, get the myth buster. That's good, that's good. <sighs> Victor. Yes, Jenny? We've been here about 15 minutes now. Can we take our picture together and post it so people will stop asking for it together and just get the hell out of here? Oh my god, I thought you'd never ask. Okay. Alright, let's blow this joint. Yeah! And it turns out my stepdad was shitting on the garage the whole time. It was crazy. Oh my god, what are you staring at? Nothing. So it's just this sexy test tube baby man with no belly button and a six pack running around doing funny stuff. Oh my god, what are you looking at? Nothing. It's your selfie camera, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, emergency contact. Oh, my husband who cherishes me and cares if I live or die. Hmm, emergency contact? Who would want to know about an emergency with me? Oh, my mom. Hello? Hi, mommy. Uh, would it be all right if I put you down as my emergency contact on some work forms? Oh, um, I'm not really taking on any new responsibilities right now. Sorry. What? You just adopted seven cats. Is that Tinder? Ugh, it must be so hard to pick someone solely based off their pictures. I don't envy you at all. I'm so glad I don't have all those options, and I only sleep with the one dude that I met like six years ago when I was a completely different person. But there's nothing wrong with him, so I just stay, even though I gain nothing from the relationship except for companionship and someone to split the rent with. Actually, it's Bumble, and it's not hard at all. I just post pictures, answer questions, and spend hours looking at profiles, looking for one that I like, hoping that we match, and then I only have a certain amount of time to message that person. And then I'm inevitably disappointed because we either don't meet, or we do meet, and there's no spark, because the whole culture of dating apps makes me focus on all the things that don't matter rather than what's right in front of me. <sighs> I'm so lonely. Oh, Sam just invited us to dinner tomorrow night. Do you want to go? Oh, totally. Wait, she definitely invited both of us, right? Yeah, she said, hey, Rachel, do you want to go to dinner tomorrow night? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, you're so bad. Oh, that's good. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay. <laughs> hey, just so you know, I am not the third wheel. I initiated this hangout. You two might be kissing and whispering or whatever, but you're the third wheel. Okay. Yeah! Tricycles have three wheels. I think they're pretty tight. Are you hitting on me? Hey, Shannon. It's me. I, I'm, I miss you. Uh, I've been thinking about you a lot, and uh, you said I could call at any time, so here I am. I'm calling you. Um, I don't know if you got my last two messages, but uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm around if you want to call me back. Okay, bye. Bye. <clears throat> uh, bye. Should have said bye three more times. Dang it. I should call her. Whoa, Shannon, what are you doing here? I sensed you were in a new relationship, so I'm here now and I'm horny. Okay, that's very nice and it's great to see you, but I need you to please leave. Can I at least smell your hoodie before I go? Go for it. Well, privacy, please. Knock yourself out. Man, it's my apartment. Oh, that's good! Yummy! I am so glad we could take the time to make this call, guys. I love my girls so much! Yes, yes! My girls, hey! I'm here right now. My girl, my girl. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, babe. I, I meant to check in, but I just, I had my call with the girl. No, you're right. You are totally right to worry. I will try and be better. Yes. I, I know, I know, your love language is surveillance. I love, I love you. 
I love you more. Shay, you can mute yourself. Oh, he would not like that. No, no baby, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hey, Sara. Mm. Do you watch this 14 hours documentary on olive oil ice cream making? Sure, honey, I love documentaries. Great. They are so fun and definitely don't bore me to death. Netflix has too many options. I don't know what to watch. Oh, I guess I'll watch this then. Oh, oh, this is my favorite part. I think it's raining outside. Dude, you know what that means. Bye! Oh God, Tom and Evan invited us to an it's raining party. Don't worry, I already told him I'm sick, so we don't have to go. Why would you tell him that without me? What if he asked me the symptoms? Like, what are your symptoms? We have to get our story straight. Something happened last night when the green orb came. Okay, I'll type that up. Thank you. Thank you for being the most supportive girlfriend I've ever had. So you're actually sick? Yeah, I'm feeling sad in my gastrointestinal cords. And I think that must have happened last night when the green orb approached So do I call a doctor, an exorcist, or an IT guy? Oh, I, I think an alien for sure just f***ed me. <laughs> My girlfriend is right here. No, she actually went to the bathroom. Okay, is that an excuse for me to hit on you? Maybe. Oh, okay. Well, what are you I doing? I broke all of the toilets we have to go. He was hitting on me when you were gone. I was <gasps> doing that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out he was actually one of the Horcruxes the whole time. And it turns out A actually was just the twin sister Courtney and Allie was dead the whole time. Turns out they actually died during the crash and the entire event on the island was just purgatory. It gives me cuddles night and cooks me pasta with broccoli, mozzarella. Mmm, he's Big Spoon. Right at you. <laughs> Woo! Wow, I feel like I'm skydiving! Texted the text. Huh? Oh, good. Yes, Why don't you look at me like that anymore? I don't love you. Not even when I wear my feather outfit? It's not the same. I'm not thinking of you. I'm thinking of whatever the f*** this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Musk! Yes. I am wearing the new fragrance by Elon Musk. Called Musk. It's Musk. really good. It smells like space, huh? It smells exactly like space, which is nothing. I think he sold me water. Also, why don't you invest in a non-inflatable bed? Look at that kick. What what woman's gonna come back here with you when you got an inflatable bed? The Michelin woman. <laughs> Her name is Mich Michelle. Michelle Lynn. Tis I, your psycho ex-girlfriend. Uh oh. And we have more content for you because we will never leave you because we are your psycho ex-girlfriend. Uh oh. So we have this other video over there. Mm -hmm. And that one has commitment issues. Uh oh. But the merch down there, yep. super emotionally available. Yummy. And if you subscribe down there, huh? that's a long term relationship, baby. Whoa. Get it. You don't have to be single when you're subscribed to Smosh. Nope. All of us collectively are your significant other. other.